All righty, guys, we have entered the house now. Um, here is the living room. Small entryway, but it's got a closet here to put your coats. Or, I'm sorry, I lied about that. That goes to the basement. Um, it's got a closet here to put your coats. Double closet. I kind of like the way they put, they took this staircase off to the side. So, um, here's a half bath as you, as you come in. Sorry, here's a half bath as you off of there and then you take a left to the stairway. So here's the house. Um, it's not a bad size right here. It's got like pergo floor. And it's got a fireplace. That's just a plug-in fireplace. I'm assuming that back the when they got it built, it could have put a fireplace in there. But they chose to not do that. Here is the eating area. They got a small round table. Got a nice window here. Here's your walkway out the back. Kind of a narrow deck out there. You can always make it bigger though. And you're outside. And then here's your kitchen. Kind of like a galley kitchen here. They have survey, water test, home improvements, everything they've done. So, a lot of information here, which is nice. Obviously, they are very, very, um, wow. When they purchased everything, these people are very organized. <laughs> Amazing. I'm going to take one of these. I will scan it and send it to you. Um, just some details about the house. So, it's got, um, it's not granite or anything. It's just your laminate, but it looks nice. Refrigerator, cupboards, and pull out drawers. Could use some handles on those. They only have handles on the top ones. Um, gas stove. We don't have a dishwasher. Oh yeah, we do. I don't know what this down here it would be for. They put some things underneath there, because we do have a dishwasher. I thought maybe they didn't put a dishwasher in. The dishwasher's right there, but you could put I don't know, a wine cooler, whatever you want to do, but got a microwave. Got another cute little window going out to the back here. And then here we have the garage. Garage. Clean. Plus you have the outbuilding. So they must have everything in the outbuilding. Let's quick it's got a nice refrigerator. Let's go upstairs quick. Up the stairs, which I like I said, I like this back here kind of hidden so it's not right up the middle of the room. Good idea. Oh, so this is probably made to be a closet when they put it in, but they've turned it into a little office, which is cute as a button. Fits there perfect. Bedroom. Twin bed, and you have room for a dresser in here. It's not huge. Great kids' room. Another, this is a full size bed. Um, they have it decorated just cute as a button. Your view out there. You'd have room for a little dresser right there. And then, full bath. Cute. Cute floor. These are high definition vinyl floors in the bathroom and in all the bedrooms, which is nice. And they do have a king size bed in here. King size bed. They have a little TV stand. If you got that TV up off the stand, put it on the wall, you could put a dresser here. You would still have room to walk through. They have two little tiny dressers on each side just for a lamp. And then, um, there's the outside, but it is a king size bed. And let's go over here. Nice walk-in closet. And they have a dresser at the end of that. So that's where they chose to put their dresser, um, which is good. And here's the master bath. So it's got just a, it's like a tile, but it's not ceramic. It's softer, so it's 
like high definition vinyl, but it's more, it looks like um, squares. You got Korean countertops. You got a jacuzzi tub. You can do your reading in here. Um, very cute. Again, this is your outside, your front. Cute, cute. And then behind here, they just put this for all their, boy, they're organized. I love these people. Um, I can understand why they did that. Just put the curtain there rather than a door because it's kind of tight right here. You're opening a door here and your door, your bathroom door is going to be hitting it all the time. So I can see that being a pain in the butt. So I get why they did that. So decent space. Bedrooms aren't huge, but there's room. Love the little office area. So let's go down. Here's our halfway stair. Going back down. Don't let me get you dizzy. And then let's go to the basement. So very it's finished as we go down. Cute. Cute. And then we have oh my graciousness. So they have just painted the ceiling black, as you can see. Um oh, they must take pictures of babies. She must be a photographer. So they have a little stage here with all their stuff that they use for babies. Um, it's got carpeting down here, so you know at least it's not wet. They didn't finish the walls, they're still cement, but they're drywall here in the middle of the rooms. They put a little television up here for their little workout room area. Cute. Over here, and there's the backdrops for the photo photos. Um, furnace, sump pump, water tank, water softener, hot water heater, last serviced, cleaned January of 2 of 2022 is the last sticker I see on there. And then over here, I'm assuming is our storage side. Oh, no, our laundry. I forgot. We didn't have a laundry room upstairs. Cute laundry room. Storage. These people have minimal stuff, so it'll be easier for them, easy for them to move. Uh, let's see here. So that's what we got. A little storage there. A lot of storage. Um, it feels not as small. The, the ceilings down here are kind of tall. I mean, I'm not anywhere near this, which usually I am. So even if you finish the ceiling, if you wanted to, but I mean, it's great enough just to come down here. If you had all this space, it'd be great to have like a little family room down here. So doesn't feel cramped, doesn't feel as as small as that one did on Lily, just because also the ceilings aren't as low. You a little more open here in regards to the ceilings. Um, just very cute, cute and cute and very clean. So I will send it to you soon. Hope you guys are having a great day. Bye.